Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Knights of the Old Republic. Alrighty, when we left off, we had just joined up with uh, Jolie Bindo here, and we were exploring the Shadowlands a little bit, trying to get some things done down here. And, uh, well, I don't exactly remember what we needed to do exactly. Oh, that was a weird hitch. But, uh, I'm going to go to the end here. and that, Oh, that's not good. What is with this? Nope, nothing. Okay. Dangling vine. Uh, sends high into the canopy above. There is no indication why its growth has stopped at this point. Hmm. The ground beneath is stained by years of blood, suggesting that freshly killed animals have been suspended from the vine many times in the past. All right. Does that mean I should do that with the... I guess yes, it does. Let's do it. And creature is easily wrapped in the vine, which doesn't distort at all under the weight. The only movement is a rustling from off in the distance. Oh. Well. Guess that's a ritual beast. And now we have to fight. All right. Well. Let's go. Items lost. All right. It shouldn't be too hard. Oh, well, I say that before I get poisoned, but that's fine. Hey, it's down. Examining the corpse of this great beast, you find a blade of some sort lodged in its side. Skin has grown around it. This may be part of... While certainly painful, it appears the blade caused only surface damage to the creature. Who knows how long it lived with this injury. This may be the uh, part of the sword that's important. You remove the blade from the corpse. The only flaw appears to be a, miss a missing hilt. Maybe I was right. <laughs> Obviously, the sword came apart when the blade lodged within this creature. Well, I mean, sometimes that'll happen. After years and years of doing stuff with it, I'm sure. Especially if you don't maintain it well enough. Alright. That sort of shit is kind of important. Ooh, remains. Gunhan's journal. Um. For marker. There are ancient symbols here, worn as though traced by generations of Wookiee claws. Layers of moss and dirt suggest that no one has been here in many years. The beast comes when summoned if you are generous. It comes to battle if you are worthy and wise. It grants you glory if you are fearsome and brave. Feed the beast and it will heed your call. Take vipers from their lair and hang them from above. Let blood scent the ground of our ancestors. Obviously, this was once a place of great ritual importance. Well, that explains uh, why all that worked. Hmm... But it doesn't seem to be anything else interesting over here. Well, we have the other half of the, uh, I'm assuming that's the Blade of Baca. As opposed to the Hilt, which is currently with, uh, Chunda. So... Nope, nothing over here. I will head back to where I'm supposed to go. And that's probably all I need to do. Probably. I should double check. You've recovered the blade of a very ornate looking weapon. This would likely be very important to the right Wookiee. Fair enough. So. 
Where do I go? <laughs> I'm so lost. Yeesh. Nope, I did not want to turn that on. I do, however, want the map. Oh, well, I haven't gone left, so let us go left. It's probably a good idea. Uh, I'm sure. I keep hitting that button. I keep hitting that button. Don't know why. Uh, swoop bikes. Yeah. Yeah, those are swoop bikes, alright. Hmm. Wasn't there something about hidden hunters? Yeah. Disarming may be the only way to flush them out. Yep, Mandalorian Swoop. It's still warm to the touch. There is a signal device on it, however. It contains no field data to transmit. Hmm. How about this one? Shows signs of recent use, and as it is missing its signal device. One of the Mandalorians must have taken it to collect the data. Do nothing. And I'm sure... Disarming is actually what I need to do here. As annoying as that is. So, um... There we go. There we go. Oh, boy. Maybe if I do this now... Do nothing. No field data to transmit. Yep. Okay. Guess I gotta run around with no weapons. Ah. Yep. Knew it. Well. You done fucked up now, because I can just put those back on, buddy. And... Where's my good one? There it is. Alright. There's that. And... Whoops. Helps if I hit the right button. Bend X. And... He had the other one. The green ones, if I remember right. I want to double check. There's nothing else that was a little stronger. Nope, he had the green. Okay, that's fine. And... Go! <laughs> I wonder... Force Whirlwind would have a little bit of utility here. Well, knocked him back. Oh, come on. Uh oh They knocked out Jolie. Oh, boy. The other guy is just sitting there doing nothing. There we go. Perfect. Ish. I mean, we could have gone without Jolie Bindo getting knocked out. But, it's fine. It's fine. Mandalorian data pad number one. And number two. Okay. Cool. Let's deal with the healing part. What behavior do I have Jolie set as? Good question. Scripts. Oh. He was just doing default attack. No wonder he wasn't trying to heal at all. Okay, well. Now that's fixed. Sure. Alright. Let's look at... 
All it did was change the uh, Mandalorians, or rather the description to Mandalorians. Uh, attacking unarmed creatures. They also have camouflage generators on their swoops to further sway odds in their favor. favor. I can talk, really, I can't. <laughs> Just not today. This is, yep, this is Bacchus Sword Blade. I was right. Gun Han. Hmm. Recovered from the remains of a Tarantetic on Kashyyyk. It must have been devoured by the beast. It appears to be the personal journal of Gun Han Saresh. The last entry explains what he was doing on Kashyyyk. Duran and Shayla have given in to their passion for each other and are doomed to fall to the dark side. I tried to warn them against expressing their love, but they called me arrogant and accused me, me, of being the one on the dark path. I left the fools on Korriban. But I am not about to abandon the mandate given to me by the Jedi Council. I will destroy the Terran Tetic wherever I find them. I have heard rumors of such a beast maybe exist in the Shadowlands of Kashyyyk. I shall go there and slay the beast, proving that I do not need either Duran or Shayla with me to defeat these creatures. Ah. Uh, well, sorry to say, but... <laughs> if that's where I found this journal, you didn't manage it. He's not good. This request is in the Mandalorian language. A stump disabled the stabilizers on my swoop. I request parts before other systems fail. If the generator goes, my blending field will stop working and I'll be visible to our prey. Personal log in the Mandalorian language. The hunt. This hunt is no challenge. How will attacking unarmed creatures train us to use these Jedi toys? Hmm... You want new warriors to learn? Watching a comrade lop his own arm off fighting a real opponent would teach more than these pointless battles. I obey Mandalore, but with protest. The blending field generators on the swoops grant near-perfect camouflage. Why only attack unarmed opponents? So there's some, uh, some dissension in the ranks there, mainly because I don't know why they're doing what they're doing. Hmm. It's something that could be exploitable. Nothing else. Okay. Well, uh... Maybe if I... I'm sure I probably don't need to disarm again, do I? Well, I'll try it. I'll try it again, see if maybe that'll be the magic thing. Yes? Still nothing. Okay. Well, I tried. Let's try the other route. Since I already destroyed the group here. Let's go this way. Hmm. Interesting. Whoa. Um. I'm gonna need you to take care of that mission. Thank you. Oh, and there's another one over here. Don't know what to think about this. Sure. Well, there's a star map. Computer. Life forms detected. Determining parameters. Initiating neural recognition. Yes, there's the thing. Obstinate machine. I've no doubt it holds what you seek, but 
Good luck getting it operational. Primary neural recognition complete. Preliminary match found. Match found? What the... It always muttered something about rejected patterns for me. Begin socialized interface. Mm. Awaiting instruction. Greetings. This terminal has not been accessed for quite some time. Who placed this terminal here? Error. Subject displays unfamiliarity to environment. Behavioral reconfiguration will be needed before access. I am sorry. I did not mean to confuse you. I will answer questions to the best of my programming limitations. What do you mean by behavioral reconfiguration? I have been programmed with a very limited field of knowledge, and I must restrict access to only those that fit my allowed pattern. Hmm. And if I don't fit that pattern? I can't say. I will try to bring forward the behavior that you need to proceed, as outlined by my programming. Okay. That seems very helpful. Why have I been allowed to access? I can't say. Preliminary matching allows for you to be coached. Do you not know why, or are you restricted from saying? I can't say. Likelihood of restriction by previous user, 100%. Hmm. So, the computer knows me. But the last person who used it restricted it from telling me anything. All right. I seek information about a star map. Accessing? Yes, I have found a star map in original system memory. Access is restricted. Original system memory? So the map is as old as this installation? Error. Data regarding author of the star map is corrupted. Okay. What do I need to do to get access to the star map? Your request requires additional security access. You must be made to match the parameters I have been supplied. What if I fail? Then you are not worthy of further access. You will be rejected as unsuitable. What will rejection mean? Information unavailable. If you have further questions, ask them now. Access will terminate with success or failure of evaluation. Gotcha. So if I... If I start it now and I fuck up, then that's the end of that. How can I match them when I don't know what they are? There are measures available. Personality profiling will verify the basic structure of your conscious mind. Mm -hmm. With that, I will determine whether you are ready to receive the star map or can be made ready. What do you mean by that? Information unavailable. If you have further questions, ask them now. Access will terminate with success or failure of evaluation. All right. Hmm. Sorry, I'm yawning a little bit. And I've been tired from a long day. Uh, I want to ask questions about you in this installation. I utilize a retro-adapted holocron interface. Mm -hmm. Clarify your questions, and I will attempt to access original system memory. Okay. Who built the installation in the first place? That's misspelled. Error. Corruption. Extrapolating. This utility was built to monitor planet-wide agricultural reformation. It has since malfunctioned. It can be theorized that the supergrowth of Kashyyyk's forests is a direct result. Well, that is surprising. I doubt any Wookiee would support such a claim. The forest is millennia old. Malfunction occurred 241 years after last builder communication. Last builder communication, 29,642 years before current Republic standard. Okay. So, old as shit. That at least fits with the timetable uh, available from the wikis. If this place was built 30,000 years ago, it predates the Republic. Error. Information regarding the builders of this installation has been corrupted. No evidence okay. of such a civilization exists in the galactic record. I get that, because no one knows that this civilization existed. Why was agricultural reform needed? Agricultural record indicates this planet was incapable of sustaining sufficient levels of production. Mm. Error. 
Specific conditions corrupted. It can be theorized that produce was being exported to support a larger demand. That's a short period for adaptation of native creatures. Error. Records corrupted. It can be theorized that bioseeding allowed the ecology to remain balanced. It could be expected mm. that the same energy feeding the trees of Kashik also accelerated the evolution of various species. No further information is available. There is too much corrupted data. So, what you're telling me is that... Huh. Whatever was used to speed up evolution of the plants on Kashik more likely than not affected everything on Kashik. Okay. Let's go back to my questions about the installation. Accessing. I will answer as my programming permits. Okay. Who installed this hollow interface? This interface was installed to better access the ancient data stored within the pre-existing system. The exact date is unavailable. Programming mm. keys indicate no earlier than five years before current Republic standard. Mm. Five years ago. I didn't notice it. This must have been installed in strictest secrecy. Couldn't have been Circa. No other information on time of installation or identity of user available. Likelihood of removal by user, 100%. Uh, who accessed this last? Sorting by identity. Three attempts by the Wookiee Freyer, all denied. 152 attempts by human... Jolie Bindo, all denied. 152. Stubborn, I guess. There wasn't much else to do around here. Okay, that's fair. List of access attempts prior to these is corrupted. Likelihood of removal by user, 100%. Five years ago is about the time Revan passed this way, so maybe that's why. Error. Data regarding subject Revan corrupted. But there was an entry at some time. Error. Data on Revan unavailable. Maybe he was the user that got rid of all the info prior to that. Was there any further contact with the installer of this interface? That information is unavailable, but contact is not required for the execution of my programming. Scanning range of this facility is well beyond planetary boundaries. Hmm. Let's go back to my questions about the installation. Accessing. I will answer as my programming permits. All right. What is the original function of this installation? Error. Corruption. Extrapolating. This utility was built to monitor planet-wide agricultural reformation. Mm -hmm. It has since malfunctioned. It can be theorized. Well, yeah, we talked about that. Malfunction. Okay. Let's go back. The current function. The current purpose of this installation is defense. Defense of what? Error. That information is not available. Okay. Go back to my questions about the installation. Accessing. I will answer as my programming permits. Yeah, I, I bet. What else? No, I've. I've looked at everything. I'll go back to my general questions. Answer will be given within the limits of my programming limitations. Understandable. Uh, what limitations have been placed? Corruption has resulted in gaps appearing in my memory and in that of the original installation. It could be theorized that these gaps are intentional, but I have no information on that. What gaps are missing? That seems like it's going to be a pointless question. Error. I cannot present a non-presence. I figured. Perhaps you can ask other questions, and data corruption will become evident. Fair enough. And I've kind of asked all these questions already. So... Yeah, I'll just go through that again. I don't fit that pattern. Seems very helpful. Why have I been allowed access? I can't say. 
preliminary matching allows for you to be coached. Do you not know why, or are you restricted from saying? I can't say. Likelihood of restriction. All right. Info Access. about a star map. Yes, I have found a star map in original system memory. Access is restricted. Um. What do I need to do to get access to star map? Your request requires additional security access. You must be made to match the parameters I have been supplied. What then if I fail? What will rejection mean? You may begin evaluation. Evaluation there we go. commencing. Yeesh. Results will be compared against the pattern in memory. Just act like you should. You travel with a Wookiee hmm. and have encountered complications. Hypothetical. You and this Zalbar are captured and separated. If you both remain silent, one year in prison for each of you. However, call Zalbar a traitor, and he will serve five years, while you serve none. He is offered the same deal. But if you both accuse the other, you both serve two years. What do you do? What do you trust him to do? How do you know about him? He isn't here. I hear what happens on Kashik and a good deal beyond. Answer the question I have posed. Hmm. Can I confer with someone else? This test is not for your companions. Ah. You will answer and demonstrate that you match the pattern in memory. Okay. I would say nothing and neither would he. Are you sure? If you turn, you risk two years, or none at all. If you reply on loyalty, you risk one year, or five. Your loyalty is dangerous. Your companion could take the opportunity to benefit by turning on you. Zalbar's family is mired in treachery. What loyalty do they know? Your answer is incorrect. I thought this was an evaluation, not a quiz. I must match your behavior to the pattern in memory. You must answer truthfully, knowing the consequences. I must demand honest acceptance of the proper behavior. That is a condition of my programming. <sighs> okay. So you want me to change my answers? Then, uh, what pattern are you comparing me against? That information is not available to you. It is the pattern that I have been given as a baseline for security access. Uh, of course. All right, continue with the evaluation then. The previous incorrect response will be discounted. Future incorrect responses will result in rejection. I'm right. Available. You are at war, deciphering an intercepted code. You learn two things about your enemy. Mm -hmm. A single spot in their defense will be at its weakest in 10 days, and they will attack one of your cities in five days. What do you do with this information? What is the most efficient course of action? This is distasteful. I'll just take you apart. No, no, no. I subtly reinforce the city while preparing to attack. This is no decision. I ask again. Do this is a decision. Or abandon them for the sake of the war. Attempting both will merely dilute your efforts. Would you trade one victory for two failures? <sighs> I evacuate my people from the city. And in so doing, alert the enemy to their broken codes. They would know that their weakness was exposed. They would reinforce, and the war would go on. You save thousands at the expense of victory. You do not match the pattern in memory. Subject has failed to demonstrate the required behavior. Access denied. This system will purge the subject as false. Defense mode initiated. Oh. Whoa. Okay, then. Well. Light side points gained. All right. All right. I forgot to put the I forgot to put the weapons back on. Oopsie, doopsie. That's not good. 
Oops. This might not go well. <laughs> Guess I forgot to do that. Alright. Okay, and of course, Jolie is fucking dying. Of course, he's always the first to die. Every time. There we go. Alright. There we go. Okay, as long as Jolie keeps doing the healing thing, we should be fine. There we go. And its shield is down. Which provides the opening I need. Oh, of course Jolie's dead. Why wouldn't he be? Better. Not perfect. But better. And... There we go. One more. For good measure. Alrighty. Neural scan complete. Analyzing. Well, it would appear initial assumptions about you were incorrect. Secondary scans during battle have revealed much. Under duress, your emotions were easier to read. Really? Programming now instructs that I give you what you seek. Why the change? I failed your initial test. That information is not available. Soon you will recognize the proper course to follow. The star map is yours. This unit has now okay. completed its primary duty and has finished with the subject. Executing final action. Activation of star map commencing. Parameters reset. Stasis initiated. And communication. But I still had questions. Well, I mean, I guess there's a star map. Well, well, a star map. An ancient artifact of dark side power. Can't say I'm surprised. I always knew there was something funny down here. Well, I, I wonder mean... if the star map has had an effect on the evolution of the creatures here in the Shadowlands. It might explain why it's so dangerous. To have here. Interesting theory. But I suppose we don't have time to test it now, do we? Now that we've got what you came for, we should be heading back up to the treetops. True. And it's gone. Well, now we have it, I guess. And Joe Lee's gotten a level up as well. Maybe we can keep him from dying so much. Right, attributes. Uh, putting a point in charisma when he's a side character is not worth it. I'll put it in strength, though. Slowly build that up. Probably the best if I put it towards treat injury, because there's nothing else worthwhile. Master Force Focus and Master Sense. Hmm. An additional six defense and is always active. Um, there's Focus. Plus four to the difficulty class for all saving throws. Hmm. So what should I? Hmm. Maybe advanced Jedi defense would benefit him a little bit. On the same hand, maybe improved toughness would. Hard to say. The defense will probably do it more than anything. Um, heal, maybe. Yeah, let's go with heal. 
proper big heal. That that might do it. There we go. Perfect. Well, now that we've done that, apparently we had a trial by combat instead of uh, what we did prior, which was the behavioral quiz. Making sure I fit a behavior that I still don't understand. Apparently I had to be a prick. Which I mean. Oh. The last one had a group of Wookiees that were dead. Maybe that's... The big thing I need to do. Yes? And, yep, that was it. Hi there. Let's, uh, fix this. Unlike the last time where <laughs> I goofed it up a little. Alright. And, whoop. There's his. Alright. Anything? No. Nothing I can give him there. And that's fine otherwise. Okay. Let's do it. Uh, let's go with Whirlwind. There we go. Beautiful. Actually useful, Jolie. Thank you. Instead of just blindly attacking. Why is this guy doing nothing? Not that I'm complaining too much. There we go. Ow. Alright, come on. Perfect. Hey, and mission got a level up too. Swoop bike signal device. Another Mandalorian data pad. There's a second data pad again. And an assault rifle. Okay. Is that just a repeat of what I already had? Essentially? I don't know why I just used those buttons. <laughs> yep, those are the exact same repeats. But now I also have the signal device. I might have... Might as well put this back to all. Uh, and get her level up taken care of. Skills! Hell yeah. There's that, that. Do I really need to do that, though? I don't think so. Not unless everything else is up. Which, uh... Kinda is. Okay. Fair enough. I could make her a little more adept in computer use, but... I think treat injury will take me further. There we go. And sneak attack. Hell yeah. Good for you, mission. Good for you. Now let's go back to those swoop bikes. And here's hoping I do not need to fucking disarm again. That puts me at like an immediate disadvantage every time. It pisses me the fuck off that I have to do that. Why didn't I see these ones before? Did I go this way? Yeah, I went this way earlier. What the fuck? They weren't here before. That's interesting. There we go. This is almost a... Delightful change of pace from the Mandalorians I was fighting before. And none of them have any loot, which is understandable. 
considering they're just mindless animals. Here's hoping we don't need to be. Hey, thank you, merciful Jeebus. <laughs> Replace the signal device and activate it. Hi there. You have interrupted our hunt, interloper. Yeah, and? The inhabitants of this world could do little against us, but you appear to be a threat. Damn so right. Here will continue without your interference. That's what you think. Oh, yeah, buddies. Well, I guess. More to get rid of. There we go. Items lost. <laughs> Hell yeah. Well, I might as well deal with the additionals. They'll be a problem at some point. Oh boy. Ah, uh, well. <laughs> I'm gonna do a bit of a... Uh... There we go. And take care of this one. Nice stun. That helps out a lot. And that's all you need. Cryoban. And what do you have? Mandalorian helmet. Didn't expect that, but okay. Cool. Mandalorian Ripper, Armor Reinforcement, Nerve Amplifier Belt, and Mandalorian Battle Armor. Hmm. And someone gets to have a helmet at some point. I wonder if that's me. <laughs> Can I wear it? Oh. Damn it. All right. Oh, it's not even something I can wear. Boo. Okay, well. Should have figured. Always the bridesmaid. Okay. There we go. Now we have done the good thing. Now we can show that uh, Wookiee that we dealt with the threat. Once and for all. There we go. Maybe one more. Perfect. Growr! You dealt with it. You return. Have you found them? Did you kill them all? They were animals in armor with no honor among them. They are dead. I killed them all. Yes. Yes, I see the trophy helmet from the one that gave orders. Their bodies would not last long in the Shadowlands. I am glad. The taint of them, their cowardice. The forest will consume it all. I hope this gives my hunting brethren peace. I hope so as well. Goodbye. Wait, you have helped in avenging my fellows. I must acknowledge that, even though you are an outsider and are not to be truly trusted. You have acted as a fellow Wookiee would have. Here, take this. It is the symbol of my hunting clan. You served them, so you deserve it. When you look at it, Remember that we reward respect, even from outsiders. Fair enough. What'd I get? Hmm. Interesting. A vibroblade, even. Interesting. Thank you. Thank you very much. And... I discovered... The Kashuk one. Cover the blade of a very ornate looking weapon. Important to the right Wookiee. A Wookiee lost. Hmm. And that's pretty much all the quests that are available on this planet. Okay. Is there, any, is there anything more I need to do? Oh, wait a second. I knew I was missing something. Did 
I think. There we go. You know what? You know what? I think I'm going to save this until next episode. Sorry to end on a cliffhanger, but I think I'm going to save this till next episode because we are just at the time limit and I want to make sure that I keep it within that time limit considering how long it is now. Sorry. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more and click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments. We can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together and I will see you all in the next episode. I stream on Twitch from... Uh, usually Wednesdays and Thursdays from 1.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, and uh, usually we'll go for quite a few hours, so I hope to see you there. This has been the one the only Stray Cat, playing games and exploring the Shadowlands, taking care of the Mandalorian cowards that were sitting there, and failing a behavioral quiz and then proving I was good by trial by combat? Like, that somehow works for you.